Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Cvent event management software tutorial. Cvent is a platform that allows you, whether you're in the agency industry, association industry, whatever industry you're in, you'll be able to use this platform to create an event. Whether you're looking to create an online event or you're looking to create an in-person event or a webinar or basically a hybrid, you can use their platform to do that as you can see the different event types right there. So this is an all-in-one platform that is perfect for individuals and also for companies. And it is perfect for whatever industry you're in as I stated earlier. And the beautiful thing about Cvent is you can get started for completely free as you'll only be billed with Cvent once you start getting bookings or when persons start to register for your event. So you're going to go on to cvent.com, then from there you can tap on explore the platform and you'll be able to sign up using your email address. So once you tap on that, you will be redirected to this page and you can enter in your first, last name, your email address, the organization and also your job function and country. After doing that, you'll be redirected to your cvent dashboard. Once on your dashboard, the first thing you're going to do for me is create an event. So you're going to tap on create event in the top right hand corner. After you have selected create event, you'll be redirected to this page. Since we have not created an event, we are new to this platform. You won't be able to copy event or you won't be able to use a template. So you're going to tap on start fresh. After selecting start fresh from here, you can enter in some basic information. And one thing that I should have told you from the start of this tutorial, this is an all-in-one platform, meaning that not only will you be able to send out the invitation, but you can also use this platform to create the website, everything at all, and you'll be able to also use it for hosting. So here you could give the event a title, so I'll just call it test event for this example. Then you can choose the event category, whether it is a conference, meeting, seminar, or dinner, or any one of these options. So let's say, for example, we are having a meeting. You can choose the language as you can see right there. After you have done that, you can put in the planner name and the planner email address. Then you can choose the location, whether it is in-person, hybrid, meaning both in-person and also virtual, or whether it is only virtual. You could select virtual right there. After you have done that, you can set the event date. So you can select the date that it will start, as you can see right here. So let's say, for example, it will be starting on the 9th of December. And you can select the start time. And you can select the end time and end date. So it will be lasting for four hours. After you have done that, you will tap on create event. Once you have tapped on create event, you're just going to give it a few seconds. Then you will be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, I'll be showing you what to do next so you can see it is loading up right there. Now that we have created our first event, we can add some event features. So to do this, you'll tap on add features. After you have tapped on add features, you'll be redirected to this page. You can add registration by tapping on add registration right there. After you have tapped on add registration, you can scroll down. We'll be also creating a website, so we'll tap on add website. You can also tap on add planning. And if you are having more than one speakers, you can tap on add speakers. You can also add surveys. You can add seating right there. And you can also add event ads. So you can see that this is an all-in-one platform. Now, after you have added all of these features, you can go over to the left-hand menu option. And for example, we could tap on website. After you have selected website, from here you'll be able to customize your website. So you'll tap on open site designer. And from here you can edit your website quite quick and easily. So for example, sake, if you would like to change the look right here, you can simply tap on it. Then you can go over to the right hand menu option. And from here you can change the theme by tapping on change theme. So at the moment we have a blue theme right there. If you would like to change the colors, you can tap on apply. And you can see the different color themes right there. You can select any one of these to your liking. 
you can also add your logo and so on to it if you want and if we were to tap on bill in the top right hand corner from there you can tap on a particular section and then you could add something by tapping on the plus right there so for example you can add the event title the event location or you can add any one of these elements as you can see right here whether you'd like to add an image a phone number or so on you can add it right there it's quite quick and easy to do as you can see right there so you can scroll down and you can change each section to your liking all you need to do is tap on the section that you like to change once you have tapped on the section from there you will see the option to change it so once you're finished you can tap on finished and you can see how it looks right there and if you like to edit anything again you can simply tap on it then go over to the right hand menu option and you can tap on customize and you can customize it to your liking once you're finished you're going to tap on device preview in the top right hand corner and you can preview how it will look on different devices so this is how it would look on a computer how it would look on a tablet and how it will look on a mobile as you can see right there once it is to your liking you're going to tap on publish and you now have a website for your event after you're finished you will tap on the x in the top right hand corner then we can add speakers so you're going to tap on speakers from the left hand menu option then you're going to tap on speaker list after you have done that you will tap on create speaker in the top right hand corner from here you can add the speaker name you can also add their designation, their profile image, and you can scroll down and add their company or title as you can see right there. So you can create the speaker profile right here. You can also schedule the time that they'll going, be going on and all of that as you can scroll down with the different features from the left hand menu option and you can schedule that. You can also tap on site design and you can select how it will appear on our website. As you can see right there so you can use this to customize it and by tapping on registration from the left hand menu option you could select registration settings after selecting registration settings you can edit it so if it is a case that you would like to charge a fee you can tap on pricing and tap on a pencil and you could set the fee right there you can also set up the amount of persons that you want to have so instead of it being unlimited capacity you could put a cap on it if you want right there you can also put in different rules and regulations and so on and if you would like to do marketing use this platform you can do that and you can tap on web links and from there you'll be able to get a link for your website that you can share as you can see right there you could copy the registration link and you can share it you can also tap on email and from there you will be able to send out email invitations and so much more and you will be able to monitor your attendees list by tapping on attendees from the left hand menu option you could tap on attendee list and then from there you will be able to view the persons that have registered thus far that's it hope you found this video helpful to preview everything you will tap on preview in the top right hand corner and you'll be redirected to your website so this is how it looks at the moment once someone visits our website they can tap on register now after they have tapped on register now they'll be redirected to this page you can see the event time and date the event name then they'll scroll down enter their first last name email address and so on then they'll tap on next and again if you like to charge a fee that's where they'll pay the fee Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching.